it's vacation time, and we're going back to Japan. Why Japan? Because we had such an amazing time last year, and the year previous, and the year before that. Guys, Japan is like a second home to us. The people are friendly, there's always things to do, there's an abundance of food, and boy oh boy are their limited time menus absolutely insane. Like this one time where I tried a peanut butter and jelly burger at Burger King. So inside of this one you have peanut butter, jelly, mayo, and bacon. So Incredible! And the animals out there are super, super adorable, and I still yet to have gone to an animal cafe. So with that being said, join me as I pack for Japan. Now, the last few times I went, I overpacked. This time, I'm just gonna bring the necessities. This is my travel bag. It's where I keep all of my tech, and what I take with me on every single flight. I wanted to share with you what's inside my bag and how I can travel so comfortably. This bag is awesome. There's so many pockets inside of this backpack, it's crazy. I have a smart tag in here in case I was to lose my bag and I can track it with my phone at any point in time. I always carry around a gold permanent marker because you never know when you're gonna run into like, you know, either your favorite wrestler or celebrity and you want them to sign anything on a whim. It's the airport, right? I carry around one mask in case the people around me are coughing and sneezing. I always get my SIM cards in advance. Now this is very important. Depending on where you go in the world, having an additional SIM card is gonna save you so much money on roaming fees. So for Japan, I use mobile. So I got the SIM card well in advance. I had it shipped to me and it's gonna last me 15 days. This here I think was like, I don't know, I'll, I'll post the amount here, but it's better than the $15 a day my service provider charges me just to roam. I have a little notebook. And a little microfiber cloth of one of my favorite anime characters in case I have to dry my hands and I don't wanna use any of those like dryers. These are also super, super handy in case you spill something. It's always just nice to have a towel with you. And of course, a regular pen in case you need to sign documents, because oftentimes when you go anywhere, they're gonna make you sign a customs declaration form. You're gonna need one of these handy. What's in the top pocket? In the top pocket, I keep the carrying case for my glasses. Uh, so these are the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. These have a little camera inside of them, and that comes super in handy for recording on the go. It's how I'm recording the majority of my shorts. And if something cool just pops up, these are neat to have. I carry around a two-in-one USB Type-C, 130 watt, 120 watt USB-C OtterBox charging brick. These come super in handy. So I can charge two devices at once and it charges fast. So having one of these in the travel backpack, super handy. And the main pocket. The main pocket here of this bag opens up for TSA. And that makes everything a lot easier. They always ask you to pull out your electronics, so I always keep the bulk of my electronics in one pouch here. I'm gonna show you what's inside. It's mainly camera gear and my recording gear, but I also keep an additional pair of headphones. My main headphones here are the Sony XM4s. Fantastic for travel because it cuts out all the noise of the airplane and everyone around me. There could be a crying baby on the plane. And I won't hear anything with these on. In this pouch, I also keep a copy of my documents. So pretty much my entire travel itinerary, QR codes, places I want to eat, etc. I always love planning everything out and printing it in case one, either my tablet dies or my phone dies. Which brings me to my next point, the tablet. This here comes in clutch. I have the Tab S8 tablet. It's a full HD screen. 
And this is how I consume media on the plane. It's got a little pen in case I need to edit photos or video. Pop that back here. It's connected by a magnet. And I download all of my Netflix shows, a bunch of YouTube, everything that I need in abundance. So even the stuff that I don't think I might wanna watch, I have that downloaded too, in case, you know, I get bored on the plane. Speaking of getting bored on the plane, you can't be bored on a long haul flight if you bring video games, which brings me to this pocket here. I carry around my Switch OLED absolutely everywhere I go. So this here comes super in handy and I have it preloaded with a bunch of games in case I can't connect to the Wi-Fi and get onto like the Game Boy Advance emulator or uh, the Genesis or the N64. But this here is preloaded with a ton of multiplayer puzzle games uh, that both I and Kat can play at the exact same time. And of course, the Joy-Cons detach. Uh, what's great is you can play multiplayer anywhere on the go. I also brought an additional charger just for the Switch, just because this is the thing that's primarily gonna get used the most. This and the tablet, of course, but the tablet has like a crazy long battery life. This is about four hours of screen on time. And uh, when Kat and I are playing Mario Party, on the plane, you know, got to have an extra charger for this. So what else is in the bag? It's not just tech. I do carry a set of utensils with me at all times because you never ever know what kind of utensils you're going to get on a plane. So these are TSA approved. I have like a wooden fork, a wooden knife, a wooden spoon, some chopsticks and a straw because, uh, I can't use those paper straws. Those paper straws that just fall apart are just disgusting. I have three days worth of clothes all in this tiny little laundry pouch. So I have three pairs of socks, three pairs of underwear, and two t-shirts in different colors, one black and one white, they're long sleeves. So if I was ever to lose my main luggage, at least I have an extra change right here. Small kit amenities. So I always carry around a deodorant stick, some gum, wet wipes, napkins, and these Scope Travel toothbrushes. I've already used one. So in case I need to brush my teeth on the plane, these come super in handy. I can brush my teeth absolutely anywhere and have peppermint fresh breath. These things are fantastic. As for what's in my tech pouch, it's mainly my filming gear. So the second that you open this up, I got my Rode wireless microphones here. This is what I use for my smart camera. I got a little tripod here for my B-roll camera here, which is fantastic. It's the DJI. This thing comes super in handy. It has a little magnet that you clip to a chain and you can record. This thing is so small and discreet. Uh, I love having this while walking just because I can, you know, connect it to a little chain around my neck and no one's the wiser while I film some B-roll. It's very unintrusive and especially in a place like Japan, uh, being unintrusive is the way to go. I have an additional pair of headphones here. I have a pair of buds. Now these are not super comfortable, but they're just fine for the train rides. So I don't like bringing my clunky Sony XM4s absolutely everywhere with me at all times. So having these come in handy. Next, this pouch here. This pouch here is a hard drive in case I fill up too much of the memory on my tablet or my phone while filming videos, I can easily offload into that and a battery pack. I use this Anchor 24,000 watt battery pack. It fast charges everything and it has two USB ports and two USB type A ports. And this comes super, super in handy. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this battery pack is how big it is and it's also kind of heavy, so. But for my electronics, that's the battery pack I need. I also bring two little tripods, one for my DJI pocket. This is the main camera I use to film pretty much anything while traveling just because it's it's already stable. 
and I love the video footage that comes out of this. And it comes with its own little microphone as well. Clip on, it's wireless, it's fantastic. If the new one comes out, I'm gonna pick up the new one before traveling, that's for sure. And last but not least, you never know when you're gonna need a light. So I brought an extra light here. So this just turns on in the back. It's powered by USB. And then I have an extra light in case I need anything. We're allowed to travel with one bag and one small satchel. So I got the Air Canada approved satchel. And inside the satchel, this is where I keep my little things such as like my uh, Passmo card. So this is uh, my bus pass and how I pay for things, just tap. This has a component for my battery pack over here. So if I put a battery pack inside, I can charge my electronics if it's raining without causing any damage. My keys, a small wallet with credit cards. Uh, I try not to bring any uh, cash except for foreign cash with me and I just rely on credit cards solely uh, just because it's a lot less to carry and a lot less to worry about. I bring a spare phone with me in case my phone dies. This one's fully charged at all times. So if I'm ever on the go and I, my phone died and I need another one, I got this one in a pinch. Japan is a cash-based society, so this pouch is uh, filled with yen. So I gotta keep some currency on me at all times. This front pouch also has a, a Samsung tag in case I was to lose the pouch. I carry my passport and my wife's passport in this little folio here. I carry around some pomade in case my hair gets crazy. And I carry around lozenges. Of course, there is a couple of smart tech that I do have on me at all times, such as my watch, which I'm not showcasing in this video, because it's on charge, but I also carry that around as well to track my steps and as a, as a small like GPS tracker in case I get lost. So there you have it. That's what's in my bag for 2023. I know it seems like a lot of tech, but you know, it's, it's what I like and it's what keeps me entertained. So there you have it. So that's what's in my tech bag for 2023. We do live stream video games on our TikTok channel. On top of packing light, I also try to dress as lightly as possible. I wear a thin jacket and shoes that are very, very easy to take off and put back on. So as you can see, I can just step right out of these. And then all I have to do is step right back into them. Very, very cozy, easy to take off on the plane. I usually wear compression socks as well. These, uh, these socks here are just for show. Um, and yeah, the long sleeve to keep me warm or I can roll it up if I get hot. That's the, that's the fit, that's the drip. Uh, guys, we are streaming live on our TikTok right now, so come play some games with us. Leave your gamer tag down below. And unless something new comes out in fast food, our next videos will be from Japan. Bye for now.